I'm Chris Harrison, and in a special Bachelor exclusive, I'm interviewing former Bachelor Jake Pavelka and his now ex-fiance, Nikki Yee. Let's bring out Jake. It's good to see you, Chris. I'm Jake. Uh, thanks. Now, you were with Vienna, and you two very publicly broke up. Tell the audience about how you met Nikki. Well, Chris, we were at an audition for a film called All-American Hero. I was auditioning for the lead role. They said I was great. They said I was talented, handsome, all-American. They said they want me to come in for a callback. I think they might even want me to dance on the soundtrack. But how did you meet Nikki? Oh yeah, she was in the waiting room auditioning for the girl part. So what happened? Well, Chris, we got together and I proposed, but she was just an awful woman. Just a terrible, horrible, horrible woman. Let's bring out that horrible woman now. Here is Nikki Yee. Thanks for being here, Nikki. Now, I just want to let the audience know, I had dinner with these two last week. And it was a great time. We ate Italian. I sat there and I watched them make out. It was great. So, Nikki, tell me your side of the story. Well, I was at an audition and Jake was there. And afterwards, my agent called his agent and suggested that we get married and then break up. And how did the relationship fall apart? Because having dinner with you guys. It was just great, you know? Just... Now the dream has died. It died. Well, Chris, it became apparent to me that she was only after my fame, talent, and handsomeness. Look at me, Chris. I am just an emotional wreck right now. I am just a confused and lost American man. Also, the contract I signed was only for, like, a week, so... Chris, look at this. She's interrupting me. She's interrupting Jake. Okay, whatever, loser. See, Chris? She's constantly interrupting me. What kind of man in America would want a woman who does that? So you both sold your stories to different gossip magazines. How did that affect things between you two? Chris, if I may, I just want America to know what kind of man I am, and that's Jake. I didn't want her to get her fame whore hands all over my fantastic career. Fame whore? I'm not a fame whore, Jake. You're not even a real pilot. See, Chris? There's the interruption again. Look at her. She loves attention. No, I don't. Do I freaking look like I love attention? What about you, Nikki? Why did you go to the tabloids? My agent and my manager said that if I did, I would get my career moving along. And now, I'm up for the lead role in All American Hero, because they might be changing it to a woman. Don't you see, Chris? She's constantly belittling and emasculating me. And I am a broken man. A broken American handsome man, Chris. Why do you have to say his name every other word? We get it. He's Chris. Chris. There you go, Chris. I'm Jake. I just want to remind the audience at home that last week I went paintballing with them. It was so beautiful. Just so loving. I really enjoyed watching them play. Did I mention he's a fake pilot? Actually, I am. You'll see the photos in next week's issue of Us Weekly on newsstands when- <laughs> OMG, you are so lame. STOP INTERRUPTING ME! <laughs> Do you see, Chris? That's the kind of stuff that happens with her every day. She's just not a good person. 
and she definitely shouldn't get the part in All-American Hero. I've never even heard of a woman hero. No, it should be me, Jake. Thank you to our viewers at home for watching. We'll see you next week on The Bachelorette, where Allie gets to choose one of the men she loves, and I get to go on dates with them. Good night, and I'm Chris.